Hey sugar geeks, Liz here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate Boston cream pie from scratch. A Boston cream pie actually isn't a pie at all. It's two layers of delicious moist yellow cake with a thick layer of homemade pastry cream topped with some smooth, creamy, dreamy ganache. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is make our pastry cream. We're going to mix together two ounces of sugar, one and a half ounces of cornstarch, two egg yolks, and one whole egg. Make sure that's combined and then set it aside. And then over medium heat in a saucepan, we're going to combine 16 ounces of milk, or you could use almond milk, soy milk, any kind of milk really, with 2.5 ounces of sugar. The sugar is there to stop the milk from burning, which is awesome. And then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla and bring that to a simmer. Once your milk mixture is simmering, we're gonna pour about one third of that into our egg mixture and whisking constantly so that you don't accidentally curdle your eggs. A little bit of curdling is fine. We're gonna sift this layer anyways. And what we're basically trying to do is make sure that the eggs and the hot cream are both the same temperature. So again, that the egg yolks don't curdle. So slowly continue to add in all of your milk mixture. Once it's all added, you're gonna put it all back into the saucepan over medium heat. Now we're going to continue mixing it you know, off and on periodically, again, over medium heat until it starts to bubble and you'll immediately start to see that the cornstarch is thickening and everything is getting very, very thick. You want it to be thick. It's gonna look kind of lumpy and not super pretty, but we want this to be a very thick pastry cream so that it does not ooze outside of our Boston cream pie. Once everything's thick enough, I'm gonna run this through a sieve real quick to just remove any lumps. I had maybe a couple of little egg lumps, but nothing too big. And then we are going to mix in our butter until it's well combined. If you want to take an extra step to make your pastry cream ultra smooth, you can use an immersion blender. Now we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and set it aside to cool while we make our yellow cake layers. We're gonna mix together five ounces of our milk with the two ounces of vegetable oil and one tablespoon vanilla extract and set it aside. And then we're gonna combine the other three ounces of milk with two large eggs and three large egg yolks. Make sure they're all at room temperature. And then in the bowl of our stand mixer, we're going to combine 14 ounces of cake flour with 12 ounces granulated sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, and six ounces of softened unsalted butter. Then we're gonna mix that on low speed until the mixture resembles a coarse sand. Now we're going to slowly add in our milk and oil mixture and bump the speed up to medium speed or speed one on your Bosch mixer and we're gonna mix for two full minutes. This is going to develop the cake's delicate structure and give you that delicious buttery flavor, so make sure you mix for the full two minutes. Also, it's really important that all your ingredients are at room temperature at this point, otherwise your batter could curdle, causing everything to separate, and then it won't have that really nice texture when you bake it up. Once your cake batter is mixed for two minutes and looks like this, we're going to add in our milk and egg mixture. I like to add it a little bit at a time. I try to add just like one egg at a time, letting it mix in fully before I add in the next one. Once everything's mixed together, I let it mix for another 30 seconds or so, just to make sure everything's combined. And now it's time to bake up our cake. Tell me in the comments, have you had Boston cream pie before? And did you like it? And while you're down there, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I come out with a new video. So now we're going to prepare two eight inch cake pans with cake goop, which is my homemade pan release recipe, or you can use whatever cake release you like. I'm gonna divide my batter equally between the two pans. And just for fun, I like to just test to make sure that the uh, batter weighs the same amount. It's a fun little contest I have with myself for no reason. Come on, 32.7. 32.5, that's pretty dang good. And we're gonna bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes until the center bounces back. So after your cakes have cooled for about 10 minutes, I like to flip them out onto a cooling rack to let them cool down just a little bit and then place them into the freezer for about one hour. Once your cakes are chilled, you wanna trim off the dome. Then we're going to place an eight inch round cardboard down in the bottom of an eight inch cake ring and we're going to line it with some acetate. I'm gonna place my cake layer down in the bottom and then put the pastry cream on top. Then I'm gonna add my second cake layer on top of that and the acetate is gonna keep the pastry cream from oozing out all over the place. Then we're gonna place this cake into the fridge for about six hours to give time for the pastry cream to set up. I did cover the top of my cake with some plastic wrap to keep it from drying out or you can cover it in a little bit of ganache to seal the top layer of your cake. So once your Boston cream cake is chilled, you can go ahead and remove the acetate. And the last step is to make your ganache. I'm using just an equal weights, one-to-one 
uh, ganache recipe. This is what I use for a lot of my drip cakes. And in this case, I'm using four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate and four ounces of heavy cream. And I'm just going to microwave those until they are melted. Whisk it until it's nice and smooth and then pour that over the top of your cake and you have a beautiful Boston cream pie. You can also make cupcakes with this cake batter. They bake up beautifully with nice golden domes. You don't have to change the recipe at all. And you can make little tiny Boston cream pie cupcakes. I baked mine for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, let's taste this guy. Mmm, oh my God. This totally takes me back to a Boston cream donut, but in cupcake form. So cool, so yummy, so easy. Oh my God.